Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ritana and welcome to my channel. Um, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to all of you guys and I'm so thankful for every single one of you. Today's recipe is going to be a pomegranate truffle with brownies and I really like this recipe and how it came out and everyone loved it yesterday so yeah. Let's read something from the Bible and then we will go into the recipe. So today's verse is going to be um, from Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 to 21. He said, um, he replied, because your faith is much too small. What I'm, a, what I'm about to tell you is true. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, it is enough. You can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. So that's what Jesus said um, to his disciples. So yeah, um, let's go into the recipe. These are the ingredients you'll be needing for this recipe. If you want to impress your family and friends this holiday, do this for your gathering. They will love it. You can make it the day before. Everyone will enjoy it. I know my family loved it. I start by adding two eggs. They are room temperature because I'm gonna make a brownie from a box. And I'm adding one tablespoon of vanilla extract. I preheat my oven to 350. And then I add the dry ingredients. Then I give everything a mix. I add one tablespoon of milk and half a cup of butter. You can add oil if you want instead of butter. And then I give everything a mix. If you see your um, batter is not as smooth, you can add another tablespoon of water or milk. It's up to you. This is how we want the texture to be. I grease my tray and then with an ice cream scoop, I try to scoop the batter and put it in the tray. Then I'm going to smooth the top and I'm going to put it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. After the brownies are baked i put them out of the oven and i let them cool off completely then we're gonna go into our whipped cream mixture um, i added three cups of heavy whipping cream and vanilla and three tablespoons of brown sugar you can use um, powder sugar if you want and then i mix it until it's thickened then i Cover it and put it in the fridge. I add four um, ounces of cream cheese, one can of crema, and one tablespoon of biscoff butter. And I mix everything up. Then I fold in half a cup of whipped cream that we made earlier. And I wrap them up and put them both in the fridge. Um, then we're gonna go and cut our brownies into squares and I realized I didn't have a lot of brownies, so I had some homemade um, chocolate chip muffins and I'm just cutting them and putting them in a, a bowl so we can use them later. And then for our fruit, I'm using pomegranate um, seeds and I had to do two whole ones. I can add more, but I didn't have another one. So yeah, but it turned out so pretty and delicious. And you don't have to put pomegranate, you can add mango, strawberry, um, banana, whatever fruit that you like. Now it's time to assemble the truffle. And I add the cream cheese mixture first, and then I spread it out, and I'm going to add the brownies. Um, quick tip here, you can add some milk on top so when we put it in the fridge, it doesn't harden. You can do that with cake, muffin, or whatever you're using. Then I add some hazelnuts and pomegranate seed on top. After that, I add whipped cream 
and I spread that out as you can see then the second layer I'm gonna add some brownies and then I added some pomegranate seed and some chocolate chip you can add whatever you want um, it doesn't have to be the exact fruit or topping that I'm using but that's what I had and that's what we love so that's what I did and then I'm gonna add the cream cheese mixture that we have I added all of it for this and then I just tried to spread it out and then I have some cookie butter this one is a biscoff you can add Nutella if you don't have it like I said make it to your liking it doesn't have to be the exact same thing that I'm using and then I added the muffins that we cut and I added some coconut flakes pomegranate seed and then I'm adding the whipped cream that I have left um, so we can cover the top and then I'm gonna add all of the pomegranate seed that we have left and I just kind of push them down so they can like stick you know what I mean and then I cover the top so yeah this is how I made it I hope you guys like it and I put it overnight um, so you can make it the day before and you're all done with the dessert and you have to focus on the other stuff that you have to make so yeah enjoy and this is how it looks um it's so delicious and um everyone loved it yesterday when i made it mm. the only thing i would change in this recipe is um adding some milk to the brownies and to the muffins or whatever you're using or cake just dump it in the or like sprinkle some milk over it so it wouldn't be like a lot of heart because when we put it in the fridge it's like it gets a lot of heart you know what I mean um but other than that I wouldn't change anything it's so delicious and everyone in your gathering would love it so yeah try it and let me know how you how um it goes and if your people loved it so yeah Bye. I'll see you all next time.